Hey guys, I'm Jordan West from Roland, and I'm here at Craft Music today talking about the SPD-1 series of percussion pads. For great deals and bundles, go to Craft Music. So the idea behind the SPD-1 series was to give drummers the same kind of flexibility that a guitarist would have with their pedals. Um, they're very compact, they're very specific to types of sounds within each one. Um, so you can mix and match, you can play each of them with your feet, hands, or sticks. So there's a lot of different ways you can use these and incorporate them into your setup. All right, so let's start with the SPD-1 Electro. This one's gonna give you mostly electronic sounds, so like claps, snaps, 909 snare. Um, I love incorporating this one with my acoustic kit when I just want an emphasis of like a clap or something, um, and I don't need like my whole SPD-SX at the gig. This is perfect for that. Next is the SPD-1 percussion pad, and this one is gonna be more natural percussion sounds. So you've got your cowbell, shaker, hi-hat, crash cymbal, even timpani um, on this pad. Next up is the SPD-1 kick. Um, this one has anything that you would play with your foot. So kick drums, stomp boxes, um, but it also has stuff you would wanna play if you're playing cajon or percussion, um, like tambourine or an ankle bracelet, um, jingles. So that's really useful for even guitar players or singer-songwriters, anybody that just wants to add some extra kick to their set. Finally, we have the SPD-1 Wave Pad. This is a sample pad that allows you to import your own sounds, audio files, loops. Um, it has the same amount of storage as an SPD-SX, but it's much more compact. So the SPD-1 Electro and Percussion Pads are similar in function, but different in content and what kind of sounds they have on them. So for the electro, we've got a bunch of great claps. Got an awesome snare. Actually, I have two awesome snares. Um, all kinds of toms and other effects. So what I just did was affect the tuning with this knob, and I love that feature. Like, I love being able to live edit my sounds. You can also edit the amount of reverb and delay for each sound, too. The SPD-1 percussion has the same real-time effect controls, but a lot of different sounds. So this one is gonna have more of your natural sounding, you know, crash cymbals, congas, timbales, shakers. Um, a lot of people like to play this with their hands when they're in a percussion setup. Um, it's really simple to do. You can adjust the threshold and sensitivity, which is great, especially if you're gonna switch from playing with sticks to your hands. You can easily, there's a knob on the side, you just turn uh, to adjust that. So that was a conga sound. There's also tambourine, really good cowbell, which is fun to pitch shift. So I love that one, um, but that's the percussion pad. The kick is a little different than the previous two we've talked about because instead of delay, it has distortion, um, which is really great because you can add a lot of grit and beefiness to the samples that are already in there. Um, so I'll just show you what that sounds like really quick. Kind of a cool effect to have, especially if you're using this in conjunction with a kick on a hybrid kit, um, or if you're playing anything kind of gritty or electronic or whatever. Um, another cool thing is that it has a lot of percussion sounds that you would put on your ankles or feet if you're playing cajon. So I really love when I have a cajon gig to take this with me and just use it to add a lot to my playing and performance. So let me show you some percussion sounds. The really nice thing about the kick pad is that you can play it with your foot. So if you're playing cajon or percussion or guitar or just singing, you can play this without interfering with whatever your hands are doing, and that is great. Um, you can adjust the sensitivity, like I said before. Um, if you're playing more of the percussive sounds, you might want a lower uh, threshold so that you can be a little more dynamic. If you're playing like a heavy kick for electronic, you might want to turn it up. Um, so it's really nice and versatile in that way. The sounds in the three of these pads are great. I really like the presets, um, and I love the ability to edit them on the fly. Um, but they each have one user sample space, so you can add your own sample up to five seconds long into each of these, and that makes them extremely versatile and great to have on a gig. 
However, if you are really into sampling and using your own custom sounds and playing the backing tracks, then the WavePad is for you. It has four gig of internal memory. It has 12 slots for different songs or sounds. It has layering capabilities so you can layer different samples one on top of the other. So this is a good example of that. So as your velocity increases, the second sample starts to layer in and that's really cool. Um, you can also put backing tracks in here and the click automatically, um, there's a knob right here, instead of the effects like the other ones have, it's actually click versus master balance. So you can easily change how much click you have versus how much of the track you have. Um, and that is really helpful to have on any device that plays back samples. Um, I also like the separate phones volume being like right there. Sometimes it's really hard to get to on other pads. Um, so I love these two features right here. To import a sound into any one of these, it's really easy. Um, all you need is just a micro USB to USB cable, plug it into your computer, drag and drop your WAV file, um, and then assign it to whichever bank. Um, on these, it's gonna be bank 12, but on this one, it could be any one of them. Um, so yeah, it's as simple as that. So to me, what really makes these stand out and what makes them incredibly useful is their versatility. Um, like take the kick, for example, you don't even have to be a drummer to want to have this. You can be a guitarist, you can be a singer songwriter. Um, it's amazingly easy to just set up and just step on. There's no pedals involved. So that's great. Um, the wave pad, you could be a one person band that needs backing tracks. You could be in a band that wants backing tracks. Um, I actually use this a lot of times to practice because it has the click to track function and that's super helpful and easy and you can just loop the track over and over and play over it and get new ideas. Um, the percussion and electro pads are just excellent to put with your acoustic kit. Just put them on a cowbell mount and use them like you would use any other pad. So these are extremely versatile um, and extremely useful and easy to mix and match. All right, so that is the SPD-1 series from Roland. I am Jordan West at Craft Music. Thank you for watching.